Hey there. I uh, just wanted to talk to you once again about staffing. Um, it seems to me that what's going to happen um, over the next uh, year in Australia is that we're not going to see the return of uh, backpackers. Uh, certainly not in the first half of the year. And likewise, we're not going to see uh, people coming into our industry um, that have uh, come in from overseas. Uh, with visas so that they can come and work for us and that's going to cause a big problem. I'm already hearing from some of my clients they're really struggling to find staff, particularly um, uh, chefs um, and the, the chefs themselves are now demanding um, that they don't have to work weekends or that they want higher pay and things like that. N not realizing, I'm sure, that you are on such a small margin that to raise their, uh, their payments is going to put you out of business or really take away the majority of your profits. So not angry at chefs here, I'm just talking about the way things are. It's just pure economics, supply and demand. If there's more demand than there is supply, then chefs can ask for higher wages. Anyway, besides the point, this uh, this week, I saw a post by one of my clients, uh, Ritz and Nicholas from Elea Cafe Restaurant in Launceston. Um, she's doing really well with staffing. She's able to um, enhance the team that she's got around her by training them on culture and values and making them feel like a part of a fabulous team. The other thing that's happening is other people are being attracted to her place as a place of work. Um, naturally, she's changing things up because of COVID and people are really enjoying working there. And what Ritza did uh, recently is write a whole blog on what she's doing to increase uh, culture um, and the team uh, coming together and wanting to work together and the fact that it's attracting new people to come and work at their restaurant so they don't have a skill shortage in her place. So I posted her blog, I uh, shared it into the Restaurant Profits um, Facebook page if you've not seen it, if you've not read that blog, then do yourself a favor, click on there. Ritza doesn't hold anything back. She talks exactly about the things that she's doing and what her motivations are and so on. So do yourself a favor, go look at that blog, read through it and think about what can you do in your business with your staff team so that they don't want to leave you. They actually do enjoy working together as a team for you and that will attract new people as well. So if you want to talk more about that, go to our website restaurantprofits.com.au and make sure you visit the blog on the Restaurant Profits Facebook page.